Yeah, Allah, respected viewers, as you can see, uh, we are currently near uh, the door of where Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam was beheaded, uh, close to that door. Uh, but the Imamiyah Medical Center is stationed approximately, you can say, uh, 50 meters away from the Holy Shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. It provides the zuwar of Imam Hussein uh, with a variety of medical treatments. So, inshallah, we're, we're going to go inside. Uh, meet with the advisors, with the organizers of this mokib, of this camp uh, to present to you and show you uh, the, their preparations uh, to serve the Zawara of Hussain alayhi salam. So let's go in and take a tour. <laughs> uh, here with me, uh, Dr. Sorry? Qasim Jafari, uh, Qasim Jafari uh, who is from the United States, I believe? No, from Ireland. From Ireland, sorry, from Ireland. Uh, so he's telling me that this is uh, the, the pharmacy. Pharmacy, but at the same time it is a triage area whereby the doctors are uh, checking the patients mm -hmm. from the window and if they feel that these patients are uh, low acuity patients, they can give the medications and send them uh, out. Otherwise, if they are some more serious patients, they can ask them to come inside the camp. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the camp where it is working and uh, the doctors where you can see are talking to the patients and at the same working, time they are, very hard. Uh, they are also giving the, this is a 24 hour uh, camp uh, we are seeing uh, thousands of patients every Masha day Allah. actually um, so then we move to the dressing area where the different type of dressings are happening for serious patients yes. and uh, we can go inside uh, this is in the dressing you can see the dressings being done and uh, this is also 24 hours. There are nurses working in there Mashallah. and uh, doing the different kind of dressings on different patients, giving the injections, yes. and also um, any kind of an intervention which is required. Is yeah. here. Then there is uh, this consultation room where uh, the doctors are usually sitting down and seeing the patients. At the moment, the doctor has gone outside. <coughs> so you can see it. There is a doctor inside as well. Yes. Then we go to the dental area. The dental area. Uh, you can go to the dental area. The yeah. dentist area. Uh, so if you want to go. Yes. This is the dental area where they are seeing the patients and uh, working on them, on their teeth, and different kind of patients. So they are very busy also uh, with different uh, patients. And then we go to the female side. Oh, the female side. Uh, considering that you're very close to Al Safir Hospital. Yes. Uh, are you regularly in need of their cater or yes. are you Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen sufficient? It is sufficient for us. Yeah. It is sufficient for us, whatever we do. So this is the sitting area of the uh, females, the nurses who are doing the vital signs mm -hmm. and other blood pressure and sugar check. Uh, this is also uh, doctors <coughs> within, within the limits. Uh, they are looking after the females also. Female dressing area mm -hmm. uh, where uh, the, the nurses uh, who are um, waiting for the patients to come in. Yes. And uh, then there is another consultation room here, and then there is another consultation room here. So, this is the whole structure of our camp. Mashallah. Outside the camp, there is a room whereby the eye doctors are looking at the eyes mm -hmm. and uh, giving their prescriptions to them. They have the slit lamp to check the eyes from inside and also making sure that the eye condition of these patients are good. So it's a wide variety of uh, quite a lot of uh, um, different multidisciplinary yes. uh, teams which are present and the specialists yeah. which are present who are doing 24-hour uh, shifts to do that. Mm -hmm. So we can actually show you the way we do the shifts. That will be very interesting. Rota, yes. which we just see. Yes, definitely. Um, compared to the other camp near Al Abbas, mm -hmm. uh, what differentiates this camp and uh, the other one? Uh, because one thing is that this camp is uh, basically uh, made of porta cable. Yes. And, uh, so it's structured. Is, uh, structured already. Yeah. So we adjusted it according to our own needs. Mm -hmm. um, and the other camp was uh, purposely built, a tent, temporarily, 
and then we have to divide it within within the camp yeah. how we do that so so there is a big difference uh, yeah. within within these two camps but i think alhamdulillah both the camps are working fine but this is very very busy because yeah. of the location is, as yeah. well as because of the structure of this yeah. and there are equal doctors on both sides so there are 50 doctors over there and 50 doctors here oh mashallah and this is the rota if you can see uh, yes. very interesting rota if you want to see it here so it's uh, the schedule schedule so group a group b and group c and uh, these are they have from 8 to 4 the group for example on friday the group c was working from 8 in the morning until the 4 in the uh, evening group a which is this is working from 4 until midnight mm -hmm. and then the on Friday, B group will be working the whole night. That so is it's starting scheduled. from scheduled. Scheduled. Everything is structured ah. and scheduled. So all of these are have got different duties and yes. they are divided into different. That's perfect. Uh, so nobody, uh, they have equal rest. Yes. And they at the same time uh, they work uh, properly in their shifts. There are about eight doctors in each shift, and there are nurses and there are. Uh, so administrative staff nice. to support them to take the registration of the patients. So we register the patients. So you said, you mentioned this is run 24 hours. 24 hours. So across the hour, uh, the pilgrims can come here and get treated. Anytime. Anytime. Anytime, yeah. 24 hours. And we started this on uh, Tuesday. Um, and then I think it is just continuously going. So three going. days ago. Three days, we started. This is the third day. How long ago was this established? How many years? Seven years. Seven so years. this is our seventh year. So similar year to, to the camp. Yes. So this is the seventh year in a row. This uh, this camp we are running, and Alhamdulillah, every year there is higher number of doctors coming and higher oh, number of patients we are seeing. Mashallah. So this year, last year we saw about seventy five thousand patients. Wow. Seventy five thousand patients only in Imam Hussain camp, and this wow. year we Mashallah. expect to see more because Mashallah. already we have crossed yes. uh, six thousand. Already, Mashallah. and uh, these are early days. And yeah, now yeah. near the Arbain, it was more busy. Yeah. Uh, just one important thing I want to tell about this camp is that this this camp is not only for not only for serving the Zawar of Imam Sen, not only we have a spiritual relationship with this to in front of the Abba Abdullah serving the Zawar. However, we have this is this provides a training for the doctors who come from all around the world and exchange their ideas. It provides the nurses networking, it provides the doctors networking, it provides exchanging of the ideas yeah. and the mere definition of uh, the Ahlul Bayt that they want us to be together and we and professionally we are getting together and training each other and learning from each other Definitely. and Iraqi brothers and sisters who are also participating in this camp. MashaAllah. So, so it's an overall training center, MashaAllah. a serving center and an education center. Uh, what, the pressure on this camp is it a lot do you think it's it's a lot or uh, do you think like it's, it's uh, th there's no pressure it's a huge pressure a huge pressure a huge pressure because we have to make sure that we provide um, good service to the Zawar of Abba definitely yeah and if we if we fall short of that or any standards are low or if we do something not right I don't think so we can show our face to Abba Abdullah and especially when in front of him right right in front of him yeah and uh, you just mentioned uh, and I think that's the pressure we have that we want to provide a good service. However, there is another pressure. The logistics is a big pressure because in mm -hmm. Iraq, you know, yeah. nothing can, you know, the roads are closed. Yes. The supplies are cut off now and whatever we have inside. We, but our brothers, Alhamdulillah, in the uh, Al Safir Hospital and the MOH are very helpful and the Atabas, obviously. MashaAllah. Without their help, it's impossible to work here. MashaAllah. So, with their help, we are trying to get the best out of the MashaAllah. circumstances and trying to generate as much as we can to serve. Uh, obviously, we want to see everyone, but we cannot. Yeah, definitely. So, but I think we try our best. But we do not return anyone, so say that we cannot see go away. Mm -hmm. We are seeing them. We I brought the medicines with ourselves. We brought equipment ourselves. The local uh, also provided their um, support from the medicines as well, like the mm -hmm. MOH, Ministry of Health, and the Atabas. So with overall, Alhamdulillah, with everybody working together, we are able to produce results. Inshallah. Um, just to conclude the interview, uh, what message would you like to send uh, to the Zawar who are here or to the Zawar who, have, who you know, didn't get the luck or the chance to actually come this year and visit Al Sana'i So Zawar who are here, mm -hmm. it's a very important message. Yes. I think Imam Hussain has selected you to come here either to do to be a Zawar or to serve as a Zawar. Both ways, it is a very, very big blessing and they it should is. understand this it is. and realize this 
and be khashe on it and be happy with it and i i congratulate them that imam hussein has selected them Definitely. and brought them here so Definitely. first of all congratulations number two have understand that blessing and understand that importance that they yes. have invited you and the third is that perform according to that uh, perform according to that selection so that you have to perform by being good to people always have a smiling face and behave in a way that imam hussain wants you to behave definitely and the people who are unable to join uh, this year inshallah we pray for them that they come in here but they cannot imagine the spirituality they cannot imagine oh, yeah. the environment the electricity in karbala to be as a war of imam hussain and I would think that to serve the Zawar of Imam Hussain is even higher level. It is, it is, and it so is. I think come over to uh, Imam Hussain as soon as they can and as soon as they find the opportunity during Arbain, Ashura or any day and feel the electricity here. Definitely. Which is not, this is beyond explanation, it the is. electricity. Especially in these big congregations like Arbain and Ashura, it definitely. is something out of this world. It definitely, definitely is. But just to add upon the point of uh, serving the Zawar is a great honor. I mean, Jibra'il salam serves the Zawar of Hussain alayhi salam. So imagine what you guys are doing uh, by medically treating the Zawar of Hussain alayhi salam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant you reward by the ilman of Karbala Zain Abdin alayhi salam. One important message also I want yes. to give which I forgot is that to be a Zawar or to serve the Zawar. This is because it's a great opportunity, people should respect that opportunity also. Definitely. Definitely. That if you do not respect and if the angels and God didn't like that. You will be removed from the queue. Somebody else will come and take Replace their place. Yeah. There are millions of people waiting in that queue to wow. serve. Wow. So don't lose that opportunity. If you have been given the opportunity, respect that and value that. It's an honor. It's an honor it's and it's value it's that honor. honor. It is, it is. So we are it thankful is. and we put our heads down on the ground to thank God that he has given this opportunity and may Imam Hussain keep on accepting us as Insha his servant Allah. inshallah Insha Allah. and your services Allah and your Allah. services which you are doing. Inshallah, inshallah. Thank you very much for this warm interview. Thank you. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your, your hard work and dedication to Imam Hussain alayhi salam and may he grant you paradise. Allah khalikum inshallah. Thank you very much. ملكنا من الطفولة عشق ابو اليمة هوايتنا الوفا والذوب بالخدمة اذا كل كربة